electrons are strange. What's worse, they're all strange in exactly the same way. Every electron is identical to every other electron. They all have the same mass, the same electric charge, and the same spin. If you think about it, there's no actual reason why they have to be identical. In 1940, physicist John Wheeler came up with a novel new theory that might explain why all electrons are identical. According to him, the reason that every electron is the same, is because every electron, is the same electron. The electron moves back and forth in time and interacts with itself an infinite number of times. By interacting with itself it produces an infinite number of electrons. According to the theory, when an electron moves backwards in time, it becomes a positron, which is an antimatter particle of an electron. As Wheeler pointed out, each electron traces out a unique path through spacetime which is its world line. He simply connected all the forward traveling electrons and backwards traveling positrons into a single gigantic world line. I bet your intuition probably tells you that this is very very unlikely, but classical world intuition doesn't mean anything in the quantum world. After all now we know that particles are generally speaking just as happy traveling backwards in time, as they are forward, that particles can be entangled so that measuring one will instantaneously affect the other, no matter how far away they are. These are all deeply weird yet are established facts. So why not a single time traveling electron for the entire universe? Mathematically the one electron universe theory has a very significant impact on many quantum mechanics calculations. However it fails on experimental grounds, not mathematical ones. You might have spotted the problem, for a single electron to account for all electrons in the universe, it needs to travel backwards through the universe exactly as many times as it travels forwards. That means in this model, that there should be exactly as many positrons as there are electrons. But we know that this simply isn't the case. There is very less antimatter found in the universe compared to normal matter. Which means the one electron universe can't be true. Wheeler did leave himself a tiny loophole there, pointing out that we know electrons outnumber positrons in our corner of the universe which leaves open the theoretical possibility that elsewhere there might be all the positrons needed to make up this huge local discrepancy. If this theory is actually true, what else might it mean? Perhaps every other particle from protons to neutrons to exotic particles like neutrinos, is all just one particle, bouncing back and forth through time. That would mean that not only are we all made of the same kinds of stuff, but in fact each of us is made using just one proton, neutron, and electron. 